What is up everybody? It is Aug here back with another video and in today's video we're talking about the Mara 500 bowl again but this time there's something a little bit different. And so you can see here we started at 1255 now or 1254. Now for those of you who don't know there was a massive change that came to WoW yesterday and so I wanted to go test something a little bit special and what I wanted to test was to see whether or not without five piece T2 we could pull off the Mara 500 bowl. So yesterday what happened is that there was a change to how batching works. For those of you not familiar with what batching is, batching is basically saying that, at least in the old way, every single spell that you do within a 400 millisecond window is gonna go off at the end of those 400 milliseconds. So let's say for example, we have a cast that we do at one millisecond and a cast that we do at 399 milliseconds, they're actually gonna go off at the same time on the server. That allows for mages to sheep each other, that allows for mobs to basically group up and then hit you what seems like all at once and you just go from 100 to zero real quick. Those kind of things. Most people didn't like this batching, but it wasn't the game, so we deal, dealt with it. However, they took it out and changed it to 10 milliseconds, which means that instead of 400 milliseconds of a batching window, it's 10 milliseconds, so it's 1 40th, drastic, drastic change. Why does that affect mage farming though? Well, one of the biggest issues that a lot of people had was that mobs ran through blizzards. Now, this isn't going to make it so that mobs never run through blizzard. Blizzard will still have a 1% chance to be resisted by mobs, so there's still a chance that it's going to be resisted and have mobs run through it. But in just general conversation, it should massively affect blizzard and help to keep the mobs stacked. The biggest issue with trying to do the Mara 500 pull at the moment without, or 480 technically, it, without 5 pc 2 is that the mobs won't stay stacked because your blizzard radius isn't wide enough to get them on that batching tick. However, now that we have a smaller batching tick, it should allow for the mobs to stay more stacked. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to go in and actually test the Mara 500 pool. All mage farms are going to be easier now, especially leveling up because you won't have mobs just running through your blizzard when they're running straight at you. However, I wanted to test it with the biggest pool possible. And so that's Mara 500. So I took my mage, this is the original Aug mage tune, but he only has three out of five T2. So I'm not getting big, you know, blizzards like everybody else and, and all my other tunes and stuff like that. And there were two main parts that I thought would potentially be issues. First is right here. This is a point in the Mara pool where you basically have to slow down all these mobs and then turn around. And you can see here that we actually still had a ton of mobs that just went through. Now what I think is happening here is that our blizzard radius isn't big enough and so whether there's batching or just maybe a little bit of lag on the server or something like that, there's so many mobs being hit and there's not enough time to render that all those mobs are getting hit by those slows. So you can see there that it didn't actually really improve that turnaround point. And at this point I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't you know, work, but uh, we decided to continue trekking through. In theory, if batching was, you know, perfect at 10 milliseconds and everything like that, that should not have happened. But like I said, I think it's just due to the quantity of mobs that we have, not necessarily batching. And so moving on from here, it's not too bad until the kill phase. The only difference uh, with 5 piece T2 is that you have a harder time aggroing mobs. So your arcane explosion is also a smaller range. So where I'm used to, say, hitting a mob with... Nova or Arcane Explosion on my other mage, I'm not able to hit those mobs with this tune. So my overall mob count was a little bit lower, but the principle is still the same. This is going to make AoE farms much, much easier. And a spoiler alert, you will be able to even do the Mara 500 pool without five piece T2. Right now the Mara 500 pool is going for 45 gold a pop per run on my server. And so that can net you about 400 gold per hour given that the pool will take about 20 minutes. In fact, this will actually cause the pools to even probably be even faster for people with T2, and so this could potentially cause increased gold gains leading into TBC. But now that we're at the kill phase, I slow it back down because here is some of the more difficult sections. But you can see here how batching worked. Right there, none of those mobs ran through Blizzard a little bit early. The stack isn't great because I don't have 5 PC2, so I can't you know, slow down as many of the mobs. And so they're a little bit separated, but we can spend the time kind of grouping them back up throughout the pool. But you can see there that when the mobs should have probably just 
ran straight through my blizzard based on the old old method and just came and and smacked me in the face they didn't and this is batching guys this change is huge i swap out of my druid real quick to show you guys the xp we're 36 and about 60 percent of the way into the level and so we'll see when we finish what we got to but you can see how massive batching is this pool would not be possible pre the batching change i tried it and unfortunately, just with the smaller radius of Blizzard, there's not enough time with 400 milliseconds batching to get all the mobs slowed, and it's just chaos. Here, we will still have mobs run through, and it's gonna take a little bit longer to get them all stacked and things like that. However, the mobs get stacked. At the end of the day, you are able to pull this off. This is gonna be interesting to the Mara 500 pool because it may make it a little cheaper because it's easier to pull off, and so that might allow for more people to come in, so a larger supply with similar demand, because demand shouldn't really change until pre-patch, could lead to potentially lower prices. One other thing to note, guys, is this is still without the AOE cap. So this same pool will be possible without 5 piece T2 with the AOE cap, but it will be much more difficult. Obviously, the mobs are nowhere near as controlled as if I had T2 because of the larger Blizzard radius. And so doing the whole Flame Strike strat, that is gonna be meta and pre-patch is gonna be a little bit tougher without five piece T2. But overall, you can see me just grouping them back and forth slowly but surely. The kill phase definitely took an extra like three minutes or so. So I think the overall run, we're, in, we're 17 minutes in right now. So the overall run took probably about 23 minutes instead of 20 minutes to do. But honestly, guys, for the amount of expedient that you're about to see my Druid get, it is 100% worth it. So if you don't have 5 piece T2 and you always wanted to try the Mara 500 pool, go give it a shot. It's going to be still really tough to learn and you're going to need to work on the turnaround phase. And I recommend just trying to take as little damage as possible because the damage is going to be the big thing you have to worry about. But you can definitely go do it and you can pull it off and then start to get some insane, insane gold returns, guys. I mean, this is definitely the most lucrative mage farm that there is right now. And I actually just reset some of the mob's health right there, which is also why it took so long. As I got stunned as I was jumping down. But it, this is crazy. And the demand is going to be there. In pre-patch, things are definitely going to be different. But these pools are still going to be possible. And so if you can learn them now and you can perfect them before Drain Eyes and Blood Elves and everything like that come out, you're going to be able to, to be on the receiving end of some pretty big gold gains. As you can see, though, this batching change was absolutely enormous for mages. Makes everything so much easier. And we are now able to pull off some crazy pulls, even without great gear. Honestly, I think with greens, you could still do this Mara 500 pull. Granted, I would recommend using Mage Blood Potions, Mighty Trolls Blood Potions, and you definitely need the ZG Rep at Revered. But here you can see 90% of the way into 37, which means we went through 36 and almost all of 37 in one run rested. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment below to let me know so. And if you guys have any other ideas for any other videos, please let me know in the comments below. Also check out the description for the Twitch where I do all this live and also for my Twitter and Discord where you guys can be notified of any future updates and when I'm going to go live on stream. So I'll see you guys in the next video.